Welcome back to the channel for another video this week. If you are new here, my name is Jerenika Mycia, but all my friends call me G. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back this week, girl, and clicking on my face. And if you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram for all of my fabulous updates. And come back each week for weekly uploads, girl. So as y'all can tell, we got a new little setup today. Girl, I was having some technical difficulties that was just stressing me out okay so i just moved the whole situation but anyways as you can tell by the title today i'm going to be sharing with you guys some pieces that are actually checked off my luxury wish list now if you watch my 2021 luxury wish list you may have seen a couple of these couple of these pieces all of these pieces on that and if you have not watched it i'm gonna go ahead and link it above so you can just catch up my girl um but if we're being honest, I cannot believe that I'm about to show you all these pieces. I'm like mind blown. My mouth is still dropped. Baby, one thing about G, the fashion guys are always on her side. Like, always, okay? And for these pieces, they're on my side. <laughs> like, completely. And I also want to give a huge shout out to all the people who's always sending me links and sending me plugs to buy things thank you girl because y'all y'all saving my life okay but anyways let's just get right into the video y'all this past week i was supposed to go to new york because i'm just so bored so uninspired unmotivated it's just like i'm bored here so i was like why not go to new york and you know work from there like i can create content i could work answer emails i could do that all there so i was going to go there for a week and just live my best life the weather did not want me to do that it was going to be raining and overcast so i was like no push the back push the um trip back i was going to new york to honestly work and just shop to i drop because i am tired low-key tired of shopping online i miss shopping in stores and y'all know i haven't been shopping so these pieces kind of like just fell from the sky and they literally fell it from the sky like weeks apart but yeah that's what's been going on with g but anyways let's start off with the first pair of sunglasses that i have well the only pair of sunglasses i'm going to show you today these sunglasses you guys know i live for me a shady pair of shades girl so when i came across these y'all know i had to get them i'm gonna put on um, the glasses here you've seen these glasses on my luxury wish list i also have a pair i have the um chartreuse with the dark tortoise now these glasses are like my favorite girl if i had to pick one pair of glasses to live with for the rest of my life i'll pick one of these okay um these are the fendi spring summer 2011 havana sunglasses now i got another pair and y'all know this case right here is just that old fendi girl i absolutely live okay so can y'all guess what color i got y'all y'all know what color i really really want okay actually all the ones that i'm have on the screen here that's the colors that i want i want all of them but i came across these now i got a d uh a e i mean i got an email and she was like first of all let me show you she was like hey i'm selling these sunglasses i know you uh were looking for a pair i don't know if you would like to get them got them okay oh my god like y'all these sunglasses are amazing like now one thing about these sunglasses i was a little afraid because they can come off a little small for my face so i have to be very like strategic how i wear my hair and all of that good stuff but i couldn't pass them up because i just feel like i need them in my collection like of course i do so now i just need the red and the blue and i need the burgundy and the red so gorgeous now y'all know purple is my absolute favorite color also what i like about these glasses I love the contrast on them. I love the lens. I love the bar. I love how they did the uh, tortoise. I'm not big on tortoise, but for these, I would just, girl, I'll take them, okay? But, and on the side, they just have the metal, let me see. It's just the regular metal sides, but they also did color blocking on the side with yellow and orange. I these glasses are so fun for you know the season right now and y'all know i love me a slightly tinted lens girl i live okay but like i said i was a little nervous about these because i thought they would just be too small but they're literally the same as my other pair i have so i was like these are gonna work 
these are gonna work and these they wasn't even on my radar but when she was telling me she was selling them I know these glasses are very very rare so it's hard to find them so I was like I might as well just get them in case later down the line I'm like you know what I want them I'm so happy I got them because I absolutely love them and I need just two more pair in my collection and then I'm done but yes girl these are the sunglasses look how gorgeous these are and these came out like I said 2011 girl see this is why a lot of you always ask me you know why do I prefer vintage or past seasons right here this is why this is like what almost well probably ten, yeah 10 years ago and they're still so good half of the stuff that's being made right now I don't know if 10 years later 10 years from now that I'm gonna care about it or be like oh my god that's a piece child that vintage Fendi always hit different. And you know what? I always say vintage Fendi. It was 10 years ago. I don't know how vintage that is, but child, I don't know. I know I like them. So, yeah, girl. Be on the lookout for these because I will be wearing them, honey. A lot. And the crazy thing about these, they are so rare. They were in production. I don't think they were a limited edition. It wasn't a collab with Fendi or anybody. They just was the spring, summer 2011 Um. Run and I first saw them on Jennifer Williams, but I also saw them in the runway show when I was in high school. Well, leaving high school, going to college. So the fact that I got them, I'm just like super excited about them. But I guess a lot of people don't sell them because you don't see them a lot on the pre-loved market. If you're interested in finding these glasses, definitely check different pre-loved um, websites. But I can't even tell you exactly which ones to look for because y'all know I have been on the hunt for these oh i have hair in my eye i've been on a hunt for these for the longest and the pre-love websites never have them now the next piece i am just like this is not happening this is not happening now i purchased this piece from um one of my good judies from new york and she was like hey came across something she wasn't selling it one of her clients was selling it she's like came across something and you ain't gonna believe it she said it may be a little large but you can get it you know um altered i'd rather buy something that's large and get it altered than buy it small and just try to like fit myself in it so hold on okay can y'all guess what this is if you ugh. girl okay can you guess? I doubt it. I doubt it because I can't lie. I cannot believe it's happening. I cannot believe it's happening. Okay. <laughs> Do y'all remember me saying I want this? Look at this. Oh, <gasps> this is the Gucci Ghost skirt. This is was a part of the collaboration in 2016. Y'all know I live for collaboration because when two brands collaborate, oh my God, you're getting the best of both worlds because I love when two creative minds come together to make one vision. I am obsessed with collaboration. So a lot of things that I have are a part of collaborations because I'm just like obsessed. And Gucci is one of those brands who do amazing collaborations. When I was working at Saks, I wanted this skirt so bad. Y'all, I could not afford it. This skirt retails for $3,600 before tax, girl. Now, this is a size US 10. It is a little big on me, so I am getting it um, altered. I went to Saks yesterday because I want someone to alter this who is familiar with luxury and designer pieces, not just the regular alterations at the cleaners. So, I will be getting this altered. It is big right here around my waist, but if I tuck a shirt in, I can wear it. I'm so pressed to wear this that I'm literally about to wear this right now. And I'm actually showing y'all the shoes I'm gonna wear it with. But can we just get into it? One thing about me, y'all, that y'all might not know, I live for a pleated skirt, okay? I love them. And I, what I love about this, y'all, you know how this is like a piece that you can literally wear maybe once a year? Girl, please. I'm gonna be wearing her out okay let's just get into the details look at this it, so this is a hundred percent silk and it is amazing okay just get into the detail and I love the G's on them 
this is amazing it came in pristine condition uh i think she said a client wore it like maybe twice i i couldn't tell i could not tell okay it is amazing everything about this is just amazing it's so flattering and comfortable and girl let me see it is just everything i'm not gonna try it on because it is too big but i just cannot believe i have it and this is also a piece that i feel like i'm gonna have in my uh, closet can we just ignore the hanger let me move it up this is a piece that i'm gonna have in my wardrobe forever I pray to God that my daughter loves fashion because the things that I am getting now, she better appreciate everything that I give her, okay? I waited dang near five, what, five to six years to get this. And oh my God, good things that come to those that wait because, oh, it's just amazing. Let me just get into the detailing. So it has this zipper invisible zipper which i love the craftsmanship on this skirt is amazing as you can see it's an invisible zipper so the zip is like you can't really see it and it's going to be very easy also to get this altered because right here at the zipper this was literally made with one piece of fabric there's not like a lot of splits and stuff so all she would have to do is go in here and remove some fabric oh y'all i just cannot believe this is happening to me and i think good things are happening to me right now because y'all know what well, good things in the fashion world child it's happening to me because y'all know i stopped shopping and i was like i'm gonna be intentional with everything i buy i'm gonna be intentional if i don't need it i'm not gonna buy it can y'all believe this whole year i haven't purchased not one thing from zara i made one purchase and i returned it I haven't made any purchases. I have been so intentional about every single thing I buy. If it's, you know, because you go in Zara and it's so many like cute things. But if it's not something I'm not going to, I'm going to want to wear next year or five years from now, I'm not doing it. Because a lot of pieces I have in my wardrobe from like Zara when I was working at Saks, this was like Zara five years ago girl those pieces still hit and right now zara they have cute stuff like i cannot lie but a lot of the the things that they have is not things that i me personally i'm not gonna care about next year or the year after that girl but this right here child i'm gonna care about her forever okay and this is a midi skirt so it is pretty long so yeah, it's really cute. I plan on wearing this, dressing it up, dressing it down. I want to wear it like street style. When I go to New York, y'all New York, know I'm bringing this. I would love to wear this with like a, a kind of a scuba material or a satin black hoodie to give it like a street edgy vibes with something else I'm going to show y'all. But girl, this has just made my whole like life like okay. But yeah, when I do style it, you guys are gonna see, especially when it gets altered. Um, yeah, when it gets altered, but I, I'm so pressed to wear it that I am gonna wear it today. Once I tried it, I tried it on with this shirt, but once I tucked the shirt in, it it wasn't too uh, bad. So I'm gonna wear it before I send it off to get altered because I'm gonna take it off, take it to get altered uh, tomorrow. Okay, as y'all can see, I'm just so excited. Like fashion just does something to me, okay? Like, ugh girl now the next item also has a backstory girl half of everything i buy has a backstory girl but now this is a also a collaboration i really wanted this but i i was one of them people i would go to the website i would never pull the trigger i don't know why i was like okay i'm gonna just go down to the store and i'm gonna just pick it up go to the store she was like no we don't have it it's sold out so i'm like hold on it's been sold out a while i don't really see it no more so i was like you know what i'm gonna just pull the trigger i'm gonna just go online i go online it is nowhere to be found i'm like why did i do this to myself okay like why would you do this so i called my um good well i dm'd my gucci essay and i was like hey is this discontinued because i cannot find this and she's like um there's literally 20 in the whole Gucci system for the US. It was limited for the US. It's still in stock uh, like in Europe and stuff. She was like, there's literally 20. So if you want it, you need to get on it today. And when we went back, um, another Gucci essay checked for me. And he was like, well, now there's literally 15. I'm like, get me this bag. 
So they had one in the on the in the Madison store in New York. Y'all know I was going to New York, so I was gonna just pick it up. End up not going to New York. I'm like, how can I get this bag? Give me this bag now. He was like, don't worry, I got you. I have one in store. We gon' we gon' we gonna get it together, okay? Honey, we got it together, okay? If you know me, girl, you already know what it is, honey. So it is from Gucci. Oh my god. This is now this is like a fake unboxing because I already unboxed this bag. I could not wait when it came in the mail. So yeah. If you wanna guess what it is, please comment down below and guess what it is. So <laughs> oh my goodness. Child, let me tell y'all one thing. Y'all always ask me how do I find stuff. You need to make friends with essays. When I worked at Saks, I made friends because I worked every day. So make you some friends with like, go to, even if you have to go to the store and just, you know, look around, browse. You need to make friends with sales associates, girl, because they gonna have your back, honey. They trying to make sales, they gonna have your back. If they don't have it in their store, they gonna find it for you, girl. So. <laughs> oh my God. Like, yes. Yes, girl, I am gagging, honey, gag. Ah, this is just too good. This is too good to be true. Like, I cannot stop smiling. This is too, can we just get into it? This is just too good, like. Oh, when, his, when he was like, I got you, when I got that tracking number, I said, no effing way you did this for me. When I went to New York, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna uh, hook you up. Like, I'm taking you to lunch. I got you. And the funny thing is, he don't even work for the Gucci no more. He just has friends who work there. So he was just pulling all type of plugs for me, honey. <sighs> this is the Gucci Globetrotter Beauty Case. This bag is sold out. You cannot find it at Gucci unless you go in the store. If you go in the store and they have it, I'm gonna tell you now, you need to buy it because, honey, She's a piece and she's hard to find. Right now, the resale value on this bag is about 11% above retail. This bag does retail for $19.80. Yes, and it's about 11% over retail, like around $22, $2,100. I've even seen it for $2,600. Child, I love this bag, but I ain't gonna pay that for it, okay? Oh, so it is, um, like I said, a collab this is a collaboration that Gucci did with Globetrotter. If you're not familiar, Glo Globetrotter, I'm so excited. <laughs> Globetrotter is a, um, they, they do travel, like luggage and stuff like that. So that's why this looks like this. Now, I'm the type of person when they do collabs, I'm like so intrigued. I'm like, okay, so I, Clearly, this is a Gucci handle. This is the Gucci Supreme um, GG canvas. So I was like, okay, so is what pieces are from Globetrotter? Did Globetrotter um, put the bags together? I'm, I'm, I know, I get a little too deep into it. So, yes. To me, the structure is giving me Globetrotter. I believe this is Globetrotter structure with Gucci pieces, but it is so amazing. So, okay, so this is what the bag looks like, and to open it, you just, pop that down now this is the best part this is the best part besides this bamboo handle watch this look at that I, I was so happy that they did the red it's like this burgundy crimson red interior because it's just so beautiful they could have easily just did like a tan or brown girl the, uh, that is everything and this is the inside hold on i got other stuff the inside they have the gucci tag there and they have these two little leather strips there oh that is gorgeous like girl this is just every single thing i could have imagined plus more now it comes by being a beauty case it does come with keys for this now anytime i have keys most of all i have a lot of bag with keys i just put them in like a little dust bag and keep all the keys together this bag also comes with a crossbody strap that you can change out now on this uh strap you have to make sure to hook the bag wherever direction that it needs to be hooked because it doesn't turn so let me show you 
okay like so you need to make sure it's hold on hook because it doesn't turn at all now y'all one thing about this bag i can say this bag is heavy okay and this is the bag that i've been wearing the most anytime i get a new bag that's the bag i wear but well, it's kind of new because i've been having it for a couple weeks now but oh my god i'm just obsessed so this is what it looks like with the cross body strap and the cross body strap can be um it have three little holes that you can adjust now, a lot of people was complaining saying that they wish the strap was longer. I actually like this strap. It's very durable. It is leather and I just like it. And I also like the fact that they stuck with that silver hardware. I'm not big on silver hardware, but for some reason, silver or gunmetal hardware looks so good against Gucci uh, Supreme canvas. So let me show y'all what this bag look like on. Girl, this is just like everything. Oh, look at that. This is what it looked like crossbody, and I have it right now. Let's see, to the last hook to be to make it short. Or usually I just wear it to like my side, like this. So, yes, this is the bag. A lot of you have been asking, oh, I need the lighting. Am I too bright? Hold on. Okay, a lot of you have been asking, am I going to do a full luxury handbag review or collection video? Of course, but I was like, I don't want to do that. Y'all know I am a handbag girl, so to me that video is going to be like my baby. Like, I have to do the most for this video. It has to be perfect. Um, also, I was like, I have two or three bags that I really want in that video. This bag was one of them, and I also may or may have not just ordered another bag y'all listen i have been emotional okay it's been an emotional week and when i get a little too emotional i shop okay so i ordered another bag which is gonna right now i'm not getting no more bags i am done buying bags unless it's something that i just cannot pass up on but i said all that to say sooner than later yes i'm gonna do a full luxury handbag collection and i'm also going to do a uh, more affordable because i also have bags that's not luxury or designer so i'm gonna give y'all both but yes this is my new baby uh and yeah that's that's it girl um what else about to say i forgot i'm so excited i forgot what i'm about to say girl yeah for this video that's all of the things that i had just those three things but those three things just literally made me girl i am the happiest woman in the world right now okay i am just take me to fashion week i am red tag oh but i want to show y'all the shoes that i'm so i'm going to a little brunchy brunch so i want to do uh these shoes i don't know if you watch my gucci shoe collection i want to do these platforms hold on these platforms would look really good with that super cute and they're like this espadrille style with the Gucci web going around the bottom. And y'all know I live for a platform, so these are platform wedges, and I think they would just look so good together. And of course, it's gonna just be a whole Gucci moment because of course I plan on wearing this. Like, of course, if I'm gonna do it, you might as well do it, okay? I am done saving my clothes or being like, oh my God, I'm doing too much, I'm doing the most. Honey, I'm gonna just be doing the most because I ain't toning nothing down no more. It's over. Wrong, but that's all that I have for this video. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know if you have you checked things off of your luxury wish list, what you've been buying. Y'all know I'm nosy. I want to know what y'all be getting to, just how y'all want to know what I be getting. So, yeah, and I will see you girls in the next video.